This segment is sponsored by the Area Agency on Aging of Western Michigan. We have new restrictions brought on by the COVID crisis, and that has a lot of us once again feeling pretty isolated. But the impact of that isolation on seniors can be especially difficult. Emily Armstrong is here from the Area Agency on Aging of Western Michigan with some advice, and it is good to see you, Emily. Good morning, Catherine. Thanks for having me. You betcha. As we enter the winter season with social distancing still in place to keep us all safe, tell me your advice for seniors who especially may be feeling isolated right now. Certainly. So this is top of mind for all of us, I think. You know, in the summer, we were able to be outside more safely, and now we're moving in with these winter months. So the number one thing we like to recommend is for people to reframe the narrative. Lori Renke shared a great quote that says, rather than social distancing, call it physical distancing. Mm. So it is key you remain social, even when we're apart from friends and family. And a few tips we have for that are, one, implement technology where you can. We understand for seniors that there's a barrier sometimes with technology, but there's two great resources I wanted to recommend today. One is our video series we have called Making IT Easier. So people can go to our website and watch those. I know we've mentioned them before. And then get set up through the state of Michigan as well. So again, just trying to learn that new technology, bring it into your life and make sure you're checking in. Um, if people are a little bit um, bored or have been home for eight months now, we also have a list on our website um, called called COVID-19 Boredom Busters. And that has a ton of fun activities. I think it's six pages long with things you can do safely from home. Well, that sounds kind of fun. I might check that out. Yeah. So a, a lot of seniors will also be disappointed as the holidays approach, that they're not gonna be like they had envisioned them being. And uh, and that's gonna be tough. The, the, the chairs around the table are, are gonna be empty in a lot of cases. Yes. So, of course, first and foremost, we defer to the experts and we encourage everyone to follow the CDC and MDHHS guidelines. Um, and our way is, again, kind of reframing that narrative and what you can do from home to make the holidays special. So the first is adapting those traditions. You know, some things are certainly off the table. You're not going to be going to a big 5K run on Turkey Day or anything like that. Um, but you can still send out holiday cards via the mail, bake your favorite treats and drop them off to neighbors maybe watch your favorite holiday movie. Um, so definitely things that you can do to spread holiday magic um, at this time. Again, is just practicing mindfulness. Um, I think a really good reminder for this year is this is not the norm forever. You know, we really hope with social distancing measures in place that we can get cases under control and the next holiday we'll be able to be together again. So that's great. And then of course, finally, self-care. If you're a caregiver, you might be caring for an older adult and your children right now. And there's a lot going on with that. So we encourage you to ask for help. Um, and then also do small things like move your body, read a book, things that are taking time for yourself as well. Speaking of that self-care piece of it, there may be some seniors who are struggling just to meet their basic needs, just to take care of themselves. What do you say to them? Absolutely. So that is what we are here for. Um, Area Agency on Aging is the source for seniors in our region. Our goal is if you are struggling, you call us and we connect you to resources in the community. We have an awesome network of partners who have been doing a wonderful job getting senior resources um, at this time. Um, so the first is our COVID-19 Senior Support Service, I know we've mentioned it before, that is still going strong. If a senior or caregiver is struggling with getting essential items or want wellness check phone calls, we're here for that. And then a lot of our partner services are still going strong as well with safety measures in place, transportation, home delivered meals. Um, those are all moving forward um, as well. So help is available. So Emily, tell me a little bit about, um, you have a specific training program, training courses for seniors, right? Yes, so upcoming on December 1st at one o'clock, we're hosting a Family Caregiver University virtually. It's called Looking Up When Life Brings You Down. And it's gonna have a lot of good perspective um, to share with times like these. And folks, if you need more information, you may visit the Area Agency on Aging of Western Michigan website. We've put a link to it on ours. 13onyourside.com. Emily, good to see you. Thanks so much, Catherine.